my God. Girl, like, so I was checking my DMs the other day. OK. And I feel loved, and I don't even know these Like, how are you, baby? Girl, I got my first dick pic. I was like, oh my God. Mad dicks in my DMs. I was like, what the hell? It's about dollars, not dicks, you know, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey, Caesar's coming over to tell me about his meeting with my son Genesis, and I just been really trying to keep myself busy, just because I'm just I don't know. I'm I'm scared. Hey, brother, how you doing? You still in tech? I'm trying to put you in a headlock or not? Put who in the headlock? Ever since I met up with Genesis, I've been thinking about how I'm gonna tell Sky. I'm kind of nervous on how she's gonna react, so I gotta choose my words carefully. So tell me, how did it go with Genesis? I'm ready. You sure you ready for this? I don't know. All right. Well. Just talk. No, because it was a very long conversation, so I'm trying to figure out where to pick so up from. From the beginning. All right. From talking to this little you don't even understand how similar y'all are. When he took his glasses, I'm like, I feel like I'm talking to your mother. You know, he's got the same shape, hair. Like, y'all too much alike. Even the that you would get ticked off of, he gets ticked off. Just get to the point. Give me the meat. We talked and talked. Told me a little bit, you know what I mean, what he was going through. Uh, our conversation was all over the place, sis. I'm not gonna tell you no lie. It's like, he got anger in him. Like, what was he saying? Like, why was Honestly, it's like, little homie, it feels like he had a rough life so far. He been through a lot. And he broke down. So what he basically did, push the table back, so we get face to face and be like, see, 15 years, you know? I ain't see her for 15 years. And then he starts breaking out even more. In his mind, it was it's like the 15 years that y'all was away, like he think like you should have been, came and got him. He honestly feels like I hate to say that because I know it ain't true, but you feel like you don't give a <laughs> I love my son. Like, I love him. But this is not making no sense. Like, I really gave that a better life. And I, I don't care. I gave him a better life than anything. Both of them, I gave them both a better life, and I know I did. I was in shelters selling I worked in. Like, I know what the I did, and I know why I did it. Like. I know what you're saying right now, but, sis, he's basically saying, like, he really, he needed to. Like, that's all he ever wanted. I can see why Scott is mad and confused, because at first, I was too. Like, how can Genesis see that this is the best thing Scott could have done for him? Then I realized the tears, the anger, the frustration, this show that he love her. And this is the only way he know how to show her. I'm hearing the same things. I'm hearing from you. I heard from Genesis. Both of y'all broke down and cried over each other. At the end of the day, y'all really love each other, and y'all both need each other to close these chapters in your life. I want to make this right, but I don't know what else to say to my son. I have no idea what else I could do to make him understand. What up? It's your boy Teddy Rux, part of the Black Ink Crew. And if you love this video, please subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel. Thank you.